Hello everyone, welcome back to Archie's Plays, Bendy and the Ink Machine. You might be wondering where I am. Ah, uh, I've had some computer problems. I have fought the boss that we're about to fight twice now. Not got through the actual fight one complete time, because in both situations, both times, uh, my computer switched off. The first time I thought it was a power cut, because I had managed to do about 30 minutes of episode, which I'm going to try and recover, and if I can't recover it, I apologise. Uh, and the second time it just died quickly, but I think it was overheating. So I've done some jiggery poker and we'll see if we get through this. If we don't get through this, you'll never hear this spiel, so whatever. Um, a little quick recap. We learned that Joey Drew, the owner of Bendy Studios, or whatever the studio's called, um, has requested a theme park be built. And we're about to hear from the man who was tasked with building it, and he is quite jealous. scary man in a thingy. So I've, I've seen this a couple of times, so I'm not surprised anymore. Hopefully we'll get far enough for me to be surprised in a minute. Um, but in the episode that you missed, it was basically me wandering, me wandering around being lost a lot. Um, it took me a couple of goes to figure out that there was an axe here. <laughs> I wandered around the whole thing a whole couple of times before I learned that there was an axe there. Um, and, and then of course we, it's pretty obvious what you have to do. The things light up to tell you what to do, so you just keep hacking. We just keep hacking. Uh, I obviously filled in the commentary with lore questions and stuff like that. You know how it is. Some things happen, you go, hey, I wonder if this is XYZ. Um, but we've missed a lot of that, and I've said it a couple of times already, and honestly, I can't remember what I was thinking. Because I have spent the past 10 minutes or so blowing dust out of my computer. It wasn't actually that dusty, but it was extremely warm in here. The, the computer was quite hot. I'm surprised that it had a problem. I'm wondering if this is just killing the computer, to be honest with you. Um, so we'll see how far we get. It did get about as far each time before it died. The first time, you know, we got a good half an hour episode out of it before I figured out how to do this boss, and therefore I started uh, you know, actually fighting it, at which point it died. And then afterwards, I, I got about five minutes of episode before that's what happened and it died so I didn't get much further than this last time so if we manage to get further than this this time I guess we'll see how we go and again if I can recover that episode which I think I can it's just I might have to leave it overnight to run um, I'm gonna try uh, I have a feeling that what's gonna happen here is that I'm gonna have to get on the other side of some of these claws in order to chop off the bits when they do that little merry dance Ooh. Because they're not all going to have... You're not growing them back, are you? All the, they're not all the things are going to be on the same side, are they? It's just the thing I'm thinking. So I'm going to have to get into the other side at some point of at least one or two of them. If you could kindly just do your thing that I'm trying to bait you into doing. Okay. This should fall off now, right? Yeah, you... let me run because I'm scared. And naturally, because it's a trope, we are getting faster. It's, it's got further than it had before, um, and we've got a good four and a half minutes of footage. This hasn't died. I've got the windows open, I'm chilling. Actually, I'm, I'm feeling pretty okay about myself right now, because... Right, I'm gonna have to be over there. It's not possible for me to get these unless it decides to face in the other direction. So I think the correct thing to do here is... I'm worried. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, to be over here, approximately? Maybe we can get in here quick. Wallet. Wallet. Nice, 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 nice. Right now, don't be in this corner. <laughs> don't be on the edge. Duck. Nope. No ducking. 
Ooh. Yeah, don't hear good. Well done. I don't know what's going to happen next, so here we go. Uh, let me in there, please. Nice. Are you going to come out of there? Have a go. If you think you're hard enough. This is new to me, so we can start talking again about exciting things. What we're trying to do is turn all the power on in the warehouse, which I haven't shown you. I was just walking out of it. Was it? No, that's where I started. We were looking at the power board when I started. Uh, so that was the goal. We're turning these four things on. The first one we had to play all the silly um, games in the warehouse to open the doors to get through. And now we're going through the doors one by one. We've got further. We've got through the thing. We've got five and a half minutes of footage. I'm feeling okay. The computer's feeling okay. Purring Mary along behind me. Uh, to be fair, I didn't really give it the best of airflow, but who's got room for airflow in this day and age? You know, I, I could live in a mansion and still manage to wedge the computer into a corner where there's no room for it to, you know, have coolf, which is a real word. Look it up if you don't believe me. Coolf, the opposite of warmth. It, it's a good word. I think people should use it more. So, mate with the using. There's these potties and things around, and in all the time that I've been playing, even the time that you haven't seen yet, um, Bendy has not shown up. So I, uh, I'm not worried about Bendy. In the episode that we lost, I did get, I, I died a couple of times, and I was mentioning this then. And if we do see it, I'll put it up as a sort of a lost episode thing, and you can hear me say it first time around. But there is no penalty to death in this game, which has made it somewhat to a considerable, considerable extent, less terrifying. I mean, we haven't been caught by this Joker yet. Are you going to come out of the uh, ink? No. We haven't been caught by this Joker yet, but I can assume that if we get caught by this Joker, we end up, you know, back at a checkpoint. You don't lose any progress. All you do is go out of the area. Basically, if you get caught, you get taken out of the danger that you were in, but you get to keep your stuff. Which seems silly to me. Please don't open the door and creep up on me in the dark. I think my computer is overheating, so it's cold in here. Hey Kenzie. Hey puppy. What a pest. Well, don't get me caught by the projection. Hmm? Yeah? You've been demanding to see? Oh. Oh, let's listen. Let's listen when Jen's finished attention. Hi. No. Jen's here for moral support. Try not to get caught by the projection. Yeah. Try not to get caught by the projection. I know, right? If you could wow. stand the subject matter, you'd be really liking this. I've got to not catch this. If this guy sees me, he chases me. I'm in the ink. This is the ink from the ink machine. I don't understand any. Ooh. He's walking this way, is he? He will chase me whilst I'm in the ink, but if I can climb out of the ink and he after he's seen me, I, I'm okay. We've seen this guy before. What if you climb onto like the front bit? I don't know if I can climb onto it. No, that's a blocked area, so I have to climb up the stairs at least. I want to go and press the... Uh... I'm going to listen to the law, but not whilst you're here, because I've been ignoring you. Hi. Uh, yeah? Gonna? Bye, puppy. Thanks for visiting. Hi. Listen to this now. Very Drew. Oh, sounds like Mickey Mouse. I wonder if we can pause it so that you can still see this. Because I don't want to okay, caught by this guy. Right I can only do so many takes in this trash day. I told you I've been writing. I want more use of the word dreaming in every message. Um, hopefully, hopefully you read that. I didn't read that. Oh dear. Get on the stairs. I didn't realise that would alert him. Interesting. Are you going to go upstairs? Yes. <laughs> Run away. What happens if he catches me? He didn't stop at the stairs like he's supposed to. Ah, let me out. I need a toilet to hide in. It's as fast as I can run, sorry. 
Still behind me? Yes. I'm running a lot faster in this sink than I was before. <laughs> we have to get in this toilet up here. Let's do it. We can manage it. Oh, that's terrifying, even though I know there are no consequences. Ooh. I didn't manage to read the entire text of that piece of law, which is unfortunate. Hopefully you lot did, and you can fill me in on the... <laughs> put a comment down below to tell me what it said, um, and I will read it, because I will get a notification for that, because I'm not big enough YouTuber to turn off notifications for comments yet. Oh, I wonder what that's like. Nice to be visited by Jen and Kenzie. It does look really cool, doesn't it? She's right. You, you kind of forget when you've played a game for long enough. Oh, jeez. But, um, that you really enjoy the aesthetic of it. Once you get really engrossed in it, the aesthetic becomes so expected and natural that it's the way it looks when you first start. It's like, I really like the way this game looks. And when you've been playing it for a lot, it's like, if this game stopped looking like this, I wouldn't like it as much. Whew. It does just give up, though. Did you notice that? I like the way the... Uh Projection, the projector looks like ears. Sort of reminiscent of Bendy himself. I don't think that's what it is. By the way, in case you're wondering what happened, that little pile of stuff there, I used it. I pressed E on it. <laughs> I wanted to see what it was, if I could pick it up. Keep walking, slow mo. Because you're a projectionist doesn't mean you have to wander around like a slow poke. Please follow the set path. Don't just turn straight around and get me. Right. Presumably over there somewhere. Yes, I need to go that way. I'm going this way. <laughs> right, you can't see me. Hopefully you can't see me when I'm up here. And hopefully activating this switch will not also alert you to my presence. That would be a sad time too. It did something else. <laughs> not what I expected. Um, oh no, it's gone, it's gone light again. It's fine. Are you still down there? I can't hear you splashing. Oh, in that case... I'll fill myself in on the rest of that lore. Just disappeared. That's pretty creepy. I am somewhat used to the creepiness. Jen didn't make me jump when she walked in with the dog. Really quietly. In the dark, of course I'm playing in the dark. You know me in this game. Which is why I didn't realise uh, the first time that this was not it was not a power cut. Tell the guys where I want more use of the word dreaming in every message. Keep reading and I get it. Okay, I've read it. You've heard it. I've read it. You were not worried about the guy. You don't need to hear him talk about that. You can. Uh, that was for me. I I made use noise on these. These are those hearts. Look, that's what happened. I made. I tried to use those hearts as it turned out, which was. Oh jeez, I brought you back. <laughs> get in here. Whoa! I brought him back, bro! Whoa, Bendy is fighting the protectionist! Fight! 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 I'm not here! Fight! 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 Dude! You put the protectionist down! Do you know I'm in here? I do know I'm in here. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Oh, it keeps throwing stuff at me. I'm loving this. It won't just let it be. That's amazing. So you're, you're thinking that there's nothing that you haven't seen. And then he rips this... Look, it's bleeding blood. It's bleeding ink. Dude. Well, he walks into... The, you know what? We're bending like for walls. The projectionist is dead. Whew. I don't think that was me using those hearts. I think that was just going to happen. Choo -choo -choo -choo. I'm assuming there's trains involved in one of the Bendy episodes or something. 
I can't help but notice there's an undertone of demonicness to the Bendy episodes before any of this even happened. Just the posters. You know? Weird. Right, let's get this switched on, shall we? I didn't hear. Tempted to. Standing near it, just in case I need to shit myself. Turn back. Uh, well, I can't. I have to rescue Boris for some reason. I'm trying to rescue myself, but I'm going to rescue Boris. So there you go. Any secrets back here? Doesn't look like it. I am once again terrified. <laughs> this game, just as you think you're getting over it, they, it throws something else at you. Now we're going on a, a haunted... They boat ride. Right. I'm Henry? Come in. And pretend it's all Am I Henry? Bad. I uh, genuinely forgotten how this started. There was a letter to me. I remember that at the beginning of the game. Whew. Even that got me. I mean, this is a haunted house a ride thing. at the Bendy Studios. So, so, so there's definitely something creepy about Bendy to begin with. The Either you were in someone's pocket, or you were putting someone into yours. I just want it. What was promised to me. I just wanted to be beautiful. Surely you can understand that. Henry. Why are you here? We're all dying to find out. One of these is you not going to be something to ignore. It's a terrifying to hell, Because if that's the case. Hang on time. I've got a surprise. What are you doing, Alice? That was Alice, right? What's happening? It's fine. This is a cool place. Unfortunately, Jen won't be able to watch this. And if she does, I apologise for <laughs> saying that. On public internet, but um, the the creepiness, the subject matter, not the subject matter, but the, the aesthetic of the style of the game, the horror nature of the game, would probably cause her to have nightmares, which is, you know, not something to be ashamed of necessarily, but it just means that it's not worth it. You know, nightmares can be. If you've had a nightmare. Sorry, that was oh no, what has she done to you? Um, imagine that just all the time. Do we want to avoid that? Um, but like, like she says, it's such a good looking game. It's such an interesting game. Um, help. Meets the new and improved Boris. I took what I wanted, and in return, um, I gave him so much really more. To be here. And this time, there's no ink what do I do? Surely there's a... If I let him catch me, is that bad news? I don't actually know. But he does charging stuff, so I'm guessing my job is to make him charge at me and then sidestep somehow. Let's see if we can find maybe... That was awesome. Nope. Break this. Break this. Okay. I'm not sure if he turned. Or what. Oh, am I breaking him by constantly making him charge into stuff? Let's see if that's what's happening. Forcing him to charge at the boxes, etc. <laughs> Maybe one of the boxes contains an axe in it. He doesn't like it, does he? There's a gear. There's things falling out all over the place, but I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do. Oh, there's a gear and a thing. Right, right, right. You come over here. I'll go over there. It's all the same to you. Might not have been real, okay. Just debris. I can, might still be able to use that thing now. Ah, I think I know what I have to do. 
probably have to make him go dizzy and make something of him. Okay. And I'm hoping that I could make something of him. Does this just work? Oh, you need to put ink in it. What do we need? Put this in there. Can't in there. Yeah, maybe. I'm guessing something involving this organ, which is the only thing that isn't breaking. Handle an option? An eyeball there. I don't know if these are relevant either. Spanner, let's get a spanner. Might be able to hit him with it. I can make more things, that's interesting. How long does that last? Until he steps on it. It's gone. Right, so now we're going to try and wallop him when he's phased against the wall. This is much easier when there's not a whole bunch of stuff in the way. Ow! Didn't like. Ah! Right, I have to keep doing it. Either, did he? <laughs> oh, or a smash. Ow. What are we going to get this time? Oh dear. Eat this soup. <laughs> Get the dog in there. Might work. Ow. You need to stop doing this, Boris. It's very painful. Yeah. I know. Luckily, it does a jump and then. Just enough time passes. I can probably hit him again after he's done that, actually. So, <laughs> perhaps we should probably not be too close to Boris when... Nice. That one worked out. Great. I don't think we need to not look at him, you know? Just, oh, he broke my pipe and there's the bits of it. I got new move for us. Why is this moving now? You're just going to throw a car at me? That seems a bit rude. You think? I'm quite sure what to do about this. <laughs> Keep doing what we're doing. I do. Luckily, I don't need to be there for that. <laughs> It'll turn on its own. Just straight. Circle straight is joking. Wallet. Oh. Easy. Who's laughing now? She keeps sending these minions after me. Come after me yourself. Anyway, what's up with you? I thought you didn't like this bendy dude. Sorry, Boris. Try my best. 
He was a good kid. You're a good kid, see? Real good. As long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see? Oh, hey, Alice. But owned by... Also Alice. What? Excuse me? What is happening? She just had a sword and a pipe and a Boris and what I assume was Alice before she went weird. And a loading screen. What's next? Guessing this is the last chapter, what am I gonna do? If there's dialogue, I'll shut up. <laughs> if there's not, uh, we'll wait for this to to play out. See what's next. Maybe there's something for me to do, and we'll do that in the next episode. I know that song. Everyone knows that song. Who are you? Why are you here? I was invited by an old friend. And now I can't leave. Then you know more than we do. One minute, we don't even exist. Just... thoughts. And the next minute... this place. Are you gonna let me out of here? Down here, strangers aren't good things. How can we trust you? We don't even know what you are. My name is Henry. I used to work here. I... I honestly don't know my name. So, they call me Alice. But I'm no angel. You go back and rest. We'll talk again later. Okay. <laughs> talking about it. It's only for a few hours. No need to worry. I won't go far. Only up to level six. Just stay here. Keep an eye on Henry, okay? I'll be back as soon as I can. Keep an eye on Henry. I promise. Henry needs to live. Crazy. It's cold in here now, which is great. Hopefully no one starts smoking outside. Yo, Boris. Not cool. Things we've been through, bro. Hello. Henry? Not really. Here, you must be hungry. Yeah. Nobody come. Sorry, it's all we have. Weird dude. <laughs> Whatever. Don't, did you see what I just beat? You think you mean anything? I feel there's a lot of loose ends. I know you're watching me. It's just a little creepy. You're the one that writes on the walls. We all do. For some poor souls down here, it's the only way they can be heard. But you don't want to touch the ink for too long. It can claim you, pull you back. That's how I met Tom. I was messing with things I shouldn't have been, and he... He was there. Why do you call him Tom? He just seems to respond to it. Well, I don't think he's very fond of me. Let me show you something. A while back, I was mapping out one of the upper levels when I noticed something reflecting off a piece of glass. I held up the glass, looked through, and on the wall behind me was a hidden message right there in plain sight. So I kept looking and found more and more messages everywhere in the studio. But you can't see what? them with your eyes. Only through this. Take a look. I don't know who's leaving them, but I think they know how to get out of here. Where does it all lead to? Ooh. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> I Something followed them for a long time. That's cool. I like Just that. Just leads very, me in yeah. circles. I don't think I meant to leave this place, Henry. Maybe you are a cool addition that they did. I appreciate that. Please let me out of here. Tom thinks you're dangerous. And what do you think? I, I think you're the.
for the hope I've been waiting for. Go to sleep. Maybe tomorrow will be better. E. A lot of dialogue, actually. <laughs> I'm expecting to have ended the episode by now. This seems like the sort of point where things move over. Change. That was really stupid, Tom. You shouldn't have gone out there. Now that he's seen you, it's only a matter of time before he finds us here. Hi. You don't intimidate me. I'm in a box. What are you going to do? We can't just leave him. Not with the ink demon right outside the door. What's going on? He's coming. We have to move on. Tom, we have to let him out. I don't think I'm going to get the opportunity to end the episode because I think I'm going to be thrown right into the action and have to escape from Bendy. I'm sorry. But he's going to give me the axe. Oh. Right, I'm going to leave it here and hopefully it's not a problem uh, that I'm spending all this time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope that I'll be able to recover the lost episode for you. Uh, I'll, I'll put that up there. It is no big deal. You didn't miss much. And I'm going to stop here and hope that the Ink Demon does not get me whilst I'm waffling on until the next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you next time. Bye!